Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, it's time to go back to Space Junk Galaxy to get the star I was supposed to get. Oh, looks like that's gonna have to wait even still, because now a speedy comet's in orbit. Well, looks like I have to do that one instead. I really hope it's not the one that's Pole Star. Oh, jeez. That means we have to do everything really fast, including that junky path we saw at the end. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That's gonna be real fun. Okay, so I'm guessing four minutes is the standard? Yes, it is. So in other words, I'm not gonna get those star bits. In fact, I can make some shortcuts? I'll make them happen. As long as I keep doing pretty pretty quickly, I should be alright. But that's pretty obvious, it is a speed star after all, or or speedy comet, pretty much. What the hell are you doing, Mario? Going around in circles all the time. That's very counterproductive to what needs to be done. Okay, we're making some good time so far. Oh. There. Avoid some dumb damage. Alright, so I don't need to worry about any enemies either. Just make things as quick as you can. And I should be alright. Right now a minute has already elapsed. It's kind of worrying, but at the same token, I'm, I'm doing alright. I mean, I could be doing worse. Alright, pretty much in the clear. We're almost at the hardest part. And not these guys, either. Uh-oh, uh, well, unless that happens. Screw it, you die. It's like, we live, you die! Remember, I gotta save them all. And once I do that, then I should be in the clear. Just get to that sling start, thank you. Now the toughest part begins. So here's what I'm thinking. To make things a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to just go for the further ones first. Like, I'll get this one. This one over here on the left side, I'm going to ignore on purpose. So I can pick up the farther ones later. Well, further ones right now, actually. Well, this jump is pretty much safe because it's straightforward regardless. Oh, jeez, I hate that turn. It makes me so damn nervous. And the lighting from the uh, prankster comment that's making everything a little bit red kind of distorts me sometimes. Okay, I still got a little bit of time left, like just over a minute. I can make this work. That's it. We're almost in the clear. This one's a no-brainer, pretty much. Okay, all I need to do is just grab the star and don't F it up somehow. Because remember, if you mess up a prankster comet, you have to do the entire thing from the beginning, as opposed to regular stars, which could have checkpoints, prankster comets do not. Alright, got a second uh, prankster comet star. One I didn't really intend to go for, but it was in the way. I figured I'll just do it. Eh, no. I'll probably save my saving for like the end, rather than the beginning of each star. Or the end of each star, it might be at the end of the video. Man, I got like five stars, or four stars in this level already. It's soon to be five. 
And because I've already seen how this starts off, you don't have to see it again. Like, in most cases, you can't really skip the intro unless you've already been there at least once. You didn't have to finish it, just select it at least once. Alright, so we obviously know what we need to do, and that's not go to where the Luma was. We don't have to go back there again. In fact, it's advised not to go there again, otherwise we'll just be doing that star again. We already have it. Like, haven't you played Super Mario 64 and know how all this stuff works? <laughs> well, maybe not everybody has, and you really should. It's a good game. Really good game, actually. Unless you like Call of Duty stuff, then you won't enjoy Super Mario 64. But you guys are foolish. Okay, maybe that's not true. But hating it because it's not Call of Duty, well, then that's foolish. Yep, I think this is what I'm looking for. Yeah! Shudder it! Two star bits for that. Okay. So this must be Trantox's lair. Uh. Pretty much in the spider's den. I'll take that one up, thank you very much. Oh, jeez, why'd I jump? That's just me being an idiot. What the hell are you doing? Huh. Okay, basically I just gotta pull this guy out. Or I can just do this. Just yank myself, like so. Line yourself up. Pretty cool. So I pretty much had to do this myself. Just go to where that toad is. I'm guessing it's pretty easy to kill yourself this way if you aim in the absolute wrong spot. I'm guessing this is what I need to do. That was a perfect aim, if I say so myself. Got every single coin. We. Oh, this must be where the boss is. Okay, I'll let you out. What is this thing? Well, that would be the boss. In fact, I'm going to try to destroy it. Or at least wake it up. Okay, now this boss can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Because it likes to use that toxic goo. And he's pretty fast to find ways to hit you. Okay, it has these little cores over there on its side. Those little green dots. Which you can actually hit to stun. Your main target, of course, is the big one. Okay, that was kind of bad there. Didn't really have a lot of good footing for that. But anytime you can hit it, do so. Okay, these are the main cores of the boss. Okay, I only got a limited time. I don't know if you can hit two at a time. But, okay. That really counts as one main hit. So now those cores are going to revive, and we have to pretty much repeat the same pattern. Oh yeah, but it can actually spit in multiple ways now. Your only saving grace is to take out the mini cores to s stop it. Hit the big one, you'll knock it back, and well, that's pretty much how you deal with this boss. It'll revive if you take too long, just remember that. Oh, that was perfectly aimed. Okay, that actually went reasonably well. 
I thought it was gonna go a little bit worse. Okay, can you get the star, please, Mario? Thank you! I actually thought I missed that! Why can't the stars just actually just go towards you, seeing as how you're trying to liberate it from evil? Instead, it makes you go through all this effort. The stars are absolute douches! They're worse than Bowser! At least Bowser has some ambition. Trying to create his own universe. A hungry Luma's appeared. Oh, near the fountain. I'll deal with that later. First, let's see what new galaxy I got. Hurry Scurry Galaxy? That one's actually quite fun. This one's Battle Rock, of course. I think let's do Hurry Scurry Galaxy right now. Of course, it's one of those special galaxies that have, like, one star. Shrinking Satellite. Oh, I remember this one. You have to make sure you make all these green platforms disappear. I think you have to make every single one of them disappear. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I know how this works. Is that my first rodeo toad? There we go. So yeah, I think I do have to take them all out. Just follow the music. I didn't skip a music note, did I? I think this is a very weird pattern I'm creating here. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm doing this, but this looks so retarded. Oh my god, it worked! Wow, that was really good. If I say so myself. Star Gut! I wonder what happens if you missed a star. Do you just go back to the other side and you can do it again? I wonder. Alright, so that brings my total to 19 stars. That galaxy is complete, of course. I am very confident with these results, if I say so myself. Like, only six videos and already I got that many stars. So now we can finally go to Battle Rock Galaxy. Let's do this. Battle Rock Barrage. Uh, I don't want to take rocks to the face. Looks like I might have to. Oh, this is some kind of spaceship. This can make things interesting! Or destructive! Or both. Okay, so I have to look under these discs as well for pull star pieces. Oh yeah, it's just pretty much telling you that sometimes you do have to go underneath them. Alright, let's do this. Guess we'll just grab the star bits, because I'll need them for that hungry loom over there. Look back in the hub. What are these tops doing? Oh, they make you dizzy. Alright, I'll deal with them later. But first, I need to get that. Which is orbiting around this disc. And that's where I need to go. Gotcha. Alright, so I guess that's where I need to go, right over here, deal with this. Yep, I thought so, I just need to ground pound. Okay, looks like there's some star bits hanging on the outside, I might as well grab them before I advance. And now this thing's gonna move. That means I'm gonna be up, there's the barrage that this game is talking about. This is a barrage of star bits as well, I'll definitely take them. 
still gotta avoid the electrical orbitals around the uh, disc. And if you see a cage, you might have to go upside down. Like right now. Or go right side up, like right now. Just make sure you pay attention to your surroundings so you don't get hurt. Or worse yet, killed. Oh, now all the cannons are going to be shooting star bits. Or at least they were for that particular instance. Still, every bit of star bits will count. This part's actually quite easy. I mean, all you have to do is just pay attention to your surroundings and you'll be fine. It's like... Man, it's like freaking numb. I mean, all these blasts going around. Jeez. Okay, this must be the star I'm looking to get. But in order for me to get it... Yeah, it looks like I deal with bullet bills. Okay, can you hit one cage, please? Thank you. Oh, what's in here? One up? Nope, star bits. Even better. Damn it. Try to take out these cages, because it looks like I'm going to need a bullet bill for that star. Yeah, if you can free up some coins, why not? Oh, okay, I got you. Ah, damn it. Okay, let me try approaching it from this side. If I do it like that, I should be able to lure that bullet bill all the way to where I want it to be. Like here. Thank you! That's just what I needed. <laughs> Give me another one-up, because why not? Again, it's sad you can't keep those one-ups after you turn off your game and turn it back on again. But, oh well. I guess they had to make the game challenging somewhat. You know what? I might have time for one more star. So let's go back and take the uh, second one in this stage. Alright, breaking into the Battle Rock. Let's go. Time to do things violently. And with so much force, it's like breaking into Battle Rock, and that's pretty much the name of the level. So we're living up to its name. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting, because now you got the bombs to deal with. And you're going to need them to blow up these cages. Like, some of it's going to be quite easy, or in other instances, it's going to be hard, because you got to time it just right. Like, sometimes you might throw it too far, or not far enough, and you'll miss the cage, and you have to do it all again. But it looks like we're going to be dealing with bombs a lot, moving on out. Luma! Oh. This could lead to another secret level. Oh, jeez. Rainbow star over here. I would like to find a way to break that. Oh, probably the bomb release her over. No? It's probably the green one. Yep, you get the bombs over this way. Okay, I hope that was a good throw. It was. Destroying Chomps will get rid of, get some star bits as well. Okay, just get rid of all these Chomps. That's where most of your star bits are going to be. Ah, oh, I didn't get them all. Hope I didn't need every single one of those for that Hungry Luma. Oh, 30! Jeez, I had more than enough. You know what? I'll get this star instead. Aw, oh, yeah! Let's see what planet you're gonna create for me! 
Oh, if I remember correctly, this one's an absolute pain in the balls. Because it's a mini game. Now, as for this mini game, yeah, garbage dump, toss in the trash. So we gotta destroy all this trash with these bombs. And apparently, you have a time limit. Why they give you a time limit, I have no idea. It shouldn't matter as long as it gets done, period. But try to get these bombs like right in the middle of triangles or something. That way you'll take out multiple bits of garbage at once. Like that, you might be able to get three. Okay, that's a very good place bomb. I think I got them all. There you go. Well, maybe if you tried it yourself, rather than just take this magnet around to, like, uh, touch yourself or something. If you're really helping me out, I don't understand this, but when you, when the time goes down to zero, he actually makes you try again and puts the garbage back. I don't understand that at all. But if it gets me a star, I'll do it. Apparently Mario's a garbage man now. Alright, so that was actually a pretty good video, so I'm gonna stop, stop it right here. In the next episode, I'll go for that star, well, the couple stars in Battle Rock Galaxy, and I might have enough time to take on Bowser for the first time. See ya, everyone.